Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday. It's about 4 p.m. I have been working all day. I'm actually about to head off to some events. I'm going to a Baccarat event, which I'm really excited for. Their perfume is insane. Um, Audrey Peters had it on when we were in the studio in New York, and I fell in love. So I'm excited for that. It's at North Park. And then I think we're going to like an electric shuffle board thing. It's an electric shuffle board thing, that's it. This is my outfit. I'll show you a better view in a second. I was gonna vlog all week and do a vlog week, but then I got sick. I had a cold. It was really awful. And I just want to say that Dayquil is quite literally witchcraft because that saved me. If you guys are here, subscribe. The Red Bunny Housewife merch launched today. And you guys, oh my god, thank you so much. I have never sold that many items of anything. Like, oh my gosh, if it's still available, I'll have it linked down below. Yeah. Um, Oh, I still have my sweet little angel. She's about to go to her aunt's house. If you guys are unaware, this is my bro oh stop. This is my brother's new dog. She's so cute, like literally perfect. She's been staying with me. Uh, my brother gets home next week, and then we will surprise him with his new pup. But I mean, she's absolutely perfect. Like, look at her. I die over her every day. Have you guys ever seen anything so sweet? No, never. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hi, cutie. Oh, oh, oh. Hi! Oh, you love me? Fitz loves her too. Alright, I just realized I forgot to show you guys my outfit in the mirror, but I have this coat on from Anthropology. It came in my newly subscription. This top that I have on is so perfect for the fall and winter time. The top that I have on is perfect for the fall and winter time. It's sleeveless. It's really cute. It like ties on the sides. It's actually from my friend's clothing store. So if you guys want to support small, it's um, disruptive soul. Doing it after the day in the car is definitely not ideal. Okay, these boots, they're so cool. They're Jeffrey Campbell, um, and they came in the mail today. I'll link them below, but I'm gonna live in them. They also are healed, and they're actually really comfortable so far. I'm wearing them out tonight to see if I can make it out on like a whole night out in them. Does anyone else do that? You have like a tester night with shoes? Anyways, I'm gonna pick up my friend, and then we're gonna head off. Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. I didn't vlog much last night, but we went to a few events. We went to dinner with my sister, um, and I'm back. We had our first like freeze last night. It's really cold out. I actually need to turn this off. I am about to head off to get a blowout. I got a blowout last Friday. I had an amazing weekend, so I feel like there's a correlation. Every weekend that I have is amazing though, so I don't really count. The pups have their Christmas. Well, he actually, his banana, banana fell off. Fitzy, Coco. Coco's not doing well. This weekend is gonna be fun. I'm about to head off to get a blowout. I'm gonna work there and then I'm getting brunch with Michelle at Chelsea Corner or Chelsea's Corner. I need coffee, I just am not awake yet, but this sweater is Princess Polly. I'm wearing like a set sporty suit. I got it in a size medium and it's too big. I normally wear a size medium in set, so if you get a sporty suit, size down. Wearing my Ghani rain boots, I have my coat on, and I'm going to get a blowout. I just cannot wait, like this just needs Something. This is what I'm bringing with me, my purse, my Kindle, my laptop, always. I'm currently listening to this podcast episode. It is so good. I don't know what is up with my phone right now, but we have another episode with Jessa. The episode I did with her, How to Survive Your 20s, just advice for your 20s, um, over the summer. It's one of like our most loved episodes. So I brought her on for a part two. How to Survive Your 20s part two with Jessa Hastings. It is so good, talking about like belief systems, changing your mind relationships, dating, like every, you need to listen, it's so good. All right, I just picked up my Starbucks for today. I'm bringing back my all-time favorite order. You can get this year round, but it's like my Christmas order. It's a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew, but sub the vanilla for peppermint. It is so good. All right, I'm leaving now. I just got so much like random work done. Here's my blowout. I still prefer dry bar, like obviously. I went to BAM, I still prefer dry bar, but they were booked today. So I went there, it just feels so good. Um, I'm gonna meet Michelle at brunch. I also like made a list of like all these things I need to do before next week, and I realized how busy I am and how much I needed to get done this week, but I didn't because I was sick, so feeling good. It's cute. Oh, that's cute. Guys, we're at lunch, look who it is. I'm home, I have quite the haul. I have a big haul later as well, but I got this dress from Bershka. I think I'm gonna wear this in New York to Luke Combs. I know it's gonna be so cold, but it's fine. Also got this big black oversized blazer that I feel like I'm just gonna get so much use out of anyways. I also got these boots. I've been so into heeled knee-high boots, as you guys can probably tell. 
I just needed them in like every color. They're from Nasty, I'll link them below. I mean, they're just so good. More liquid IV stuff, and then I actually got a bouquet of flowers. Well, flowers from Poppy, which is so cute. I think I have a code if you guys wanted to do this. I think it's Kenzie 10 in this little box, and it basically gives you like a setup to make a bouquet of flowers, which we know I love because I think I'm a florist, even though I'm not, so things like this are really helpful. I have just been editing. I got way more done than I thought when I was sitting getting a vlog today. I just really made a list of like things that I need to do and like went through my calendar for the next few weeks and it is so busy. And then I was having a mini like little freak out. Um, and now I'm feeling good. So love that. We're about to go upstairs and film a little haul and also style some outfits because I need stuff like ready. Don't mind my hand. But yeah, you know when like you're just in one of those moods where you get so much done? That's how I feel right now. And I'm just feeling really on top of the world. Also, this blowout isn't like what I really wanted. I don't hate it. Like it's fine. Um, but I definitely like miss dry bar still have yet to get ready. I have quite the haul to share with you guys We're gonna start off with what I got from Zara This like bodysuit, which is so cute. There's matching pants and they were not in stock. However, I Have the matching leather jacket So this might be my look for tonight and by my I mean it's going to be my look for tonight Should this be what I wear to Luke Combs in New York City? Yes but I want to wear the dress. So this will be my outfit tonight. So I picked up a lot of things from Princess Polly. I got these pants. It's not sponsored. I wish it was. Um, bought with my own money. But I just love their stuff. I'm constantly shopping from them. I have this gray blazer. Lots of blazers so far. But I just love these. I live for a good blazer. Wear them all the time. Especially like under a, like over a sweater or something in the fall. I just got this bralette to wear under like my mesh shirts that I have. I got this dress not knowing that it was like, I don't know what I thought it was. I didn't realize it was like this crazy. It's fun though. Like, I like that a lot. So, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I'm sure I'll find, like, honestly, a girl's holiday party will be really cute, but our girl's holiday party is going to be pajamas. Next thing, I got this little brown top. I tried it on. I didn't end up wearing it, but really cute, very simple, easy to wear day to day. For some reason, I forget that it's still cold after Christmas. Like, it actually just gets colder, like, for another three months. And I pretend that I only have, like, a month to wear these clothes. I got this skirt. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel like it can be good. That's where I'm landing with it. Bring my new clothes out here so I can, like, style them and thin out outfits. We'll see how that works. Okay. Um, oh, I got this, like, cream shawl thing to throw over tank tops, but... I got it in a medium, and I should have gotten... No, I got a small medium. I don't know. I think it should be, like, a little bit smaller. It doesn't... It, like, falls off a little bit too much. But I never thought I would get one, and here we are, you know. It's how, it's how life works. Got this little blue skirt. I'm really into, like, maxi skirts with boots and, like, sweaters. I think that's cute. I got another, like, brown, just, like, nice blouse. I feel like I never have tops. So I thought this would be fun. I'm gonna start like dressing up every day because Monday through like Thursday, I don't even wear real clothes. Like I wear sweatpants and t-shirt and like not even like my cute sweatpants. Like I put zero effort into my look unless I'm filming. And I need to start like actually getting ready every day. Okay, I got this like mini skirt, really cute, easy. I don't know when, like it's so light and I have to wear tights. Where are the best tights guys? Cause I keep ordering them and they're just like not good. Another mini skirt. I mean, I really I'm really into skirts these days. I don't know where that came from this year I've gotten into them. Molly's always worn skirts She was like the skirt queen when we were younger um, And they always look so cute on her. So every time I wear a skirt, I think of her. Oh, I have another Black skirt. This one's actually really cute. I wore this out I guess I forgot to take the tag off and I wore it with like a black bodysuit. It looked like a dress, but it was really cute I got the same skirt as the blue one in this little brown Again, sweater, boots, you guys know the drill. Another top that's just good for everyday wear, if you will. Guys, this is so good. I like putting my clothes away like this. I feel like my life, like my shopping trips, are like a never ending cycle of basics. Uh, I just got like black pants as well. I really like the fit of these. 
So I always dress them with like different colors. I really want to do any shopping for a while. I say that as I like have oh, so many more orders coming in this week. It's ridiculous. And then I got this brown puffer jacket, which again, cannot believe I haven't worn yet. How fun is this? Like, I just love that. Honestly, it's because I don't leave my house unless i'm like going out so i need to like start leaving so i can actually wear cute clothes um these boots i mean should we try them on i think we just might i love over the knee boots but like my calves are like big so it's kind of hard to get them to fit like i can't i won't be able to wear pants under them like that's the part that sucks oh i don't even unzip this that's the problem oh no no oh no yeah that was my problem that was my fault oh these are so comfortable like the heel is not bad at all it's really like a thin heel, but I mean, I would have to wear, like I couldn't wear pants, but like they are really comfortable. Wow, okay, I mean, I can definitely wear these to the concert. I'm running out of space for my boots in my closet. I know that is like literally the most annoying thing to hear um, due to the fact that my closet is an entire room. This is what's happening here and I'm not proud. I'm not proud one bit. I'm gonna try some things on. I got my Wandering Coyote boots. I got them widened so I could, I wanted to wear them over jeans, but like that's just not happening. If you guys have any tips, like what do you do? I just need to figure that out because it's actually causing problems in my wardrobe. But I'm gonna throw this trash away now that's been waiting here for me to film this haul for a week and try some clothes on and then I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready. Good morning guys, I'm drinking some water. It's 10.30, I'm about to go pick up some friends. We're getting our nails done. This is not the best it's ever been. Um, I'm just wearing this really like cozy outfit to go. Last night, I honestly totally forgot I was even vlogging this weekend. We went to our normal monkey bar, honor bar, then went out, which is what we do like pretty much every Friday night. That was that, the only thing different was I ordered not my usual order, so not my liquid IV, but we're gonna go get our nails done. I'm getting Starbucks. Um, I'll probably get some clips. And then tonight my friend's having a little housewarming party, pregame. So gotta get ready for that. Also, I kind of wanna like clean up my house. Like it's not like messy, but there's just like trash. Like, I don't know, there's like boxes and stuff that need to go, so. And laundry, always, always, always laundry. This is the before of my nails. It's not good. I lost my voice, so I'm sorry. And I'm still filming this clip, and that's why I am where I'm at. Um, that was all I vlogged for the weekend, but I did just want to have like a quick catch up. I made some notes last night of just some things that I was thinking. Also, how do we feel about Pete Davidson and Kate? I was a Kate and Kim. I am obsessed. Anyways, um, I would talk probably longer if I had my voice, but I just wanted to say, and I know I've touched on this recently, and in the episode that just went up with Dom, we just talked about like life a year ago versus life now. I am a very reflective person. I'm always looking back on things and just, I don't know, I'm just a very reflective, sentimental sort of gal, and I get like emotional thinking about where I was a year ago to where I am now and I wanted to kind of like go into that a little bit more because I've definitely made some major life changes and I think that's led to me just being so, 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 so much happier. This time a year ago, I was very antisocial and I do want to say, I watched Julian Hunter's video about their like career and stuff um, and them talking about like how they sacrificed a lot for a long time. For them, it was like college on, like postgrad on. For me, honestly, it like started in high school. Like I was always just really career focused and as YouTube came into my life, I definitely took a major step back with my social life and I think that's where I took the biggest hit. With that being said, I've always had really, really incredible friends, but my social life has just never been the top priority. I completely stopped going out and drinking at all for like years. Anyways, I just gave up a lot and like normal experiences and then I ended up going to like a weirder college and like whatever. So a lot of my focus from 
16 to 24 was really like career focused. Not to say I have like the biggest channel or anything. Actually, I don't want to say like, I don't know why. It's, not to say I have like the biggest channel or anything, but I've definitely built a career for myself that I really love, that I've done really well, um, and I'm really proud of. But I ended up feeling very empty and very unfulfilled. And I feel very fulfilled like career-wise with what I'm doing, especially what I've been putting out lately with like breadwinning housewife stuff, the podcast conversations, like things like that. I just feel like I've never been more like true to me. And I just, more than that, like known more of who I am, which we're also gonna get into that. But for so long, I felt like I just sacrificed my social life for the most part. And a lot of my life, like socially before, always was like people would come over as I was working and like we would work together. Like that was pretty much what I did. Essentially, I did work my ass off for a really long time and I did sacrifice a lot. And I am glad that I did that because it's allowed the life that I have now. Um, and the podcast has like grown so much and it's just like, obviously like I'm very grateful, but I also like want a life. Like I think, Last year when I got to the point where I was just so unhappy and everything was just going wrong I was like I have to make some serious life changes and invest in different areas of my life that I just haven't been investing in Moving to Texas was a very good move for me. I think that's no surprise I not only love it here, but it's allowed me to like Regain a really healthy perspective and honestly like get to know myself way more um, I think I really was just so like hustle 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 busy and like filled my time to the brink like before COVID and moving to Texas, like it's like back to like my roots and with people I grew up with, my family and the lifestyle is just different. And it's, I feel like it just like aligns more with like who I am for the most part, not everything. And it's just like, honestly, it was like a new chapter for me. It was like, I felt like I was building a career and like that was the only focus that I had for so long instead of like building a life. And yes, I could have done normal traditional university and done all that stuff and whatever. Um, but I didn't and so a lot of my time was really spent doing like work and work and work and then my college and internship was like really really intense like I can't even tell you how intense that thing was I really I don't regret it but I definitely go back now and I think that I'm like it was a great move it was like the best and the worst thing that ever happened to me so so I got to the place where I was just like, I don't like where I am. I think earlier this year, I was like, I don't even know if I like who I am. I'm really confused. I don't even know what I want. And I remember feeling like I was just like, almost like falling apart. Like there was nothing, like I was, I was the opposite of grounded. Like I was like, I feel like I'm like spilling everywhere. I don't know how to describe it. And I had never been more confused with who I was, what I wanted, what I wanted my life to be. And I think it's no secret that I've been a part of like organizations and I think, you know, when you're just in any sort of group of people and they're, you know, telling you their expectations of you and who you want to be or who they want you to be and who you should be and whatever, I think that really, it kind of really screwed with me. I think it really screwed with me and I was really young and impressionable. I was really young, I was impressionable, I was vulnerable and there's so many things from that time and from those people that I love and will I do think were great for me. But there was a lot of it where I felt like I lost myself. So yeah, I just think this past six months especially, I have become like so much more myself again and so me and I just feel so good and like so grounded and like at ease with who I am. I love, like I talk about this all the time, like I adore my friends. I love the people I spend time with, who I'm with all the time. Like. I just love them and the relationships in my life at the end of the day are what bring me like the most joy and as career focused and as driven as I am, which I just am like that, There's, I can't even try to not be that way. Um, at the end of the day, like relationships are always going to matter more. I literally wrote out like 101 manifestations the other day or like prayers, or, like whatever you want to call them of things that I want. And I was like, honestly, like I'm so happy now like i feel like even like dreams i have for the future are like so crazy because i already love life so much now which i'm so grateful for i'm sharing this with you guys i know there's people who watch my videos and i'm sure you feel how i did a year ago and like i just want to say everything is three thousand times better i cannot even stress that enough i'm just so happy i have like dreamt of a life like this and i'm so grateful so much of it is because of you guys seriously like 
I, again, like, I get emotional, like, every day because I really don't think I've ever been this happy or ever been this fulfilled or ever been this, like, content but also excited for the future. Like, even this week I was with my friends and we were all, like, I'm, we're just so happy. Like, I don't know what happened, but everyone around me is just so happy. I'm so happy. We have so many things to look forward to. Like, I'm just so excited every day. I'm just so grateful. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions. Am I still a Christian? Yes. So this is one of those things that I feel like I overshared on and I don't regret it. I think it's a really great thing. I just, I like when I say this stuff, I can hear what the people who are Christians will comment and say. And like, I went to Bible college. I've done it. I know it. I, I know all the like answers and the things that people are going to say. And this is one of those things where Honestly, I would listen to my podcast episode with Jessa Hastings, Navigating Your 20s Part 2, and she talks about it, and she talks about when she was about my age, kind of like taking a step back and figuring it out for herself. I don't feel safe to talk about this online. I don't feel protected. I don't feel like comfortable. I don't really have answers right now, anything like that. Also, the disconnect that has always been there is that I have never been a Southern conservative Christian. That has never been me, ever. I've said that many times and so i think the idea of what we will want that to look like is not going to ever match up with who i am so if that's why you follow or if that's what you want from me just know that that is not who i am that is never going to be who i am i can pretty much guarantee that um but i would definitely identify as a christian i'm just not going to live my life to please other people and well how they think i should live my life like that in itself is toxic it's not, I don't like the word toxic, but it's just not how I'm going to live my life. It's not what I want to do. But yeah, I definitely like believe in God. Um, I think I'm just figuring things out for myself. It's one of those things that I like overshared on and it's been difficult like trying to navigate that offline when there's people online that are like trying to like hold you accountable and like this stuff that's just like really unhealthy. Like if you're out of the church world and you hear this stuff, you're like, these people are crazy. And that's why people don't like Christians. Honestly, it's a very large reason. My YouTube comments, honestly. But yeah, I am the happiest I've ever been. I am the most myself I've ever been. I am the most at ease, the most confident, confident, the most comfortable, the most confident, the most excited for life I've ever been. Definitely still like believe in God, all that stuff. I have never once fit this Southern Christian mold. I never will. It's never been my thing. Even growing up in Texas, even in Bible college, there was never, ever, ever a time in my life that I identified as that or would ever want to be that. No offense, and again, no offense to anyone who is that way. I love those people. So many of them are dear friends of mine. It's just like you have to be true to yourself. So yeah, I would just appreciate like respect, I think, in space when it comes to that stuff. Again, I get, I've shared about this a lot, but as I've gotten older and like just changed, it's one of those things that I have to like navigate offline. It's not really something I feel like sharing. So that is that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are having the best time ever. Let me know where you guys are at in life, how you're feeling, what you're up to. I want to know more about you guys. But love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. He was like, well, I hate the song, but he's like real religious. And he was like, but I love you. And he was like, I just want what's best for you and all this stuff. And I was just, for me, with my story, it's really cool because here you have this song that's, you know, explicit and all this stuff. And it's funny, and it is definitely part of my personality. Like, 